kth largest element in a stream. Given the class kth largest that we need to implement, the constructor takes in an integer k and a list of numbers. For example, assume we are given k equals 3 and this list. We must keep track of the kth largest number in that list. Now the add method will take in a value. For example, assume the value is 1. We add the value to the list. And finally, the add method should then return the kth largest number. In this case, the kth largest number is 5. We will implement the constructor in O of n log k times and implement the add method in O of log k time. The way we are going to keep track of the kth largest is using a min heap. We convert the list into a min heap. In a min heap, every node's children must be larger than its value and the minimum value is always at the root node. Now we want to pop from our min heap until we have no more than k nodes. So we pop the root node and replace it with the last node in the tree. And to maintain the min heap's properties, we swap down with the smaller of his children. And once more, we swap down with the smaller of his children. Now the min heap's properties are satisfied. Now notice the number of nodes in the min heap is still greater than k, so we continue popping from the min heap. We replace it with the last node in the heap and we swap down with the smaller of his children. Now the min heap's properties are satisfied. Also notice the number of nodes in the tree is equal to k so we stop here. Notice we only ever want to keep at most k nodes in the heap at all times. This ensures we have access to the kth largest element. Now let's focus on the add method. If we want to add the value 1, we will add the value to the end of our heap and to maintain the heap's properties if the parent is larger, we swap. And again the parent is larger, so we swap. Now the heap's properties are satisfied. Once again, if the number of nodes in the heap is greater than k, we pop from the heap and replace it with the last node in the tree. We then swap with the smaller of his children, and now the heap's properties are satisfied. Finally, notice the kth largest number is at the root node, and so we return the root's value. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.